Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Zyplo here, and in today's video, my first ever video in a very long time, I'll be showing you how to unlock and complete side missions to get even better variant skins of the operators in-game, and I'll also be showing you examples of the things you can do to get these challenges done quickly, because some of the challenges can be hard to do and frustrating at times, so without further ado, let's get into this video. So season 1 of Black Ops Cold War recently came out like 2 days ago and it gave everyone tons of new content like operator skins, accessories, XP boosts, these new things that they have called vehicle tracks where you could put these mixtapes on your vehicles um, and it'll play um, you know, one of the 4 songs or one of the 3 songs depending on how much songs the mixtapes have, usually they're popular songs um, and they'll play them whenever you drive in a vehicle like on fire team or, or uh, combined arms. Uh, the battle pass also comes with calling cards, double XP tokens, um, weapon charms, weapon blueprints, uh, weapons, vehicle skins, emblems, all that good stuff. Um, but the main thing that we're focused on are the operator skins. Uh, in order to get, you know, these challenges that I'll be showing you, um, how to unlock and like, uh, all the challenges that you can get from all these operators and stuff, you have to have the battle pass. There's only one, um, skin that I've seen that's free that you don't need, um, the battle pass, which is this one. It's the base jumper Adler skin. I guess you get this one for free. And then you get, uh, it shows the mission details. So you can get these two missions right here, which is pretty cool. I mean, you can, this mission, this uh, skin looks cool. Um, they also have the golden Adler skin, which looks even better. Um, so these ones are free, I'm pretty sure. Um, but like, if you wanted this skin, for example, or this one even too, uh, you would have to get that through the battle pass. And then all the other skins too, you... you this is like the only one that's free, I, I guess. But you have to also get tier 90, which is a grind. So if you're like a free-to-play player, it might take even longer for you um, to get, you know, this skin, for example, or even all the, or anything from the Battle Pass that's free because um, you won't get the XP boost that people do whenever they do have the Battle Pass um, or anything like that. So let's just say you do have the Battle Pass already and you have all that stuff. When you go to Warzone, you can actually see all the challenges uh, for some reason, you can see all the challenges. Uh, they're not like blocked out uh, like it is on Cold War. So I recommend if you wanted to see all the challenges beforehand, just go to Warzone. Um, if you didn't know, you can just go scroll down with your D-pad or whatever you're using. I'm not sure what it is on mouse and keyboard. I'm on PC, but um, I use a PlayStation controller. So on the D-pad, you can scroll down and go to the Black Ops characters and look at them. So for example, like right here, I don't even have you know, tier 100, because you have to be Battle Pass tier 100 in order to get these challenges, and it doesn't even block it out like it does in uh, Cold War, like right here, you can see it shows get 5 kills with C4 lethal equipment, um, in Warzone, complete 5 bounties, get 5 kills with Molotovs, and I haven't even, like, done the objectives, or like I said, it doesn't block it out like Cold War does, so if you wanted to see um, all the challenges already, I recommend just coming here, um, and like starting off with Park, because I think Park is like the first operator um, for the NATO group that you can start doing uh, her challenges and stuff. Um, and, and she's like the first character on the left, I guess. So we'll start with Park. Um, and like, like to see her challenges, you can see all her missions. I've already done all of them, but like um, you see it'll show like earn three double kills, get 15 eliminations, cold blooded. Uh, kill five enemies without dying one time. These are all pretty simple. I did these in multiplayer Nuketown. Nuketown's the easiest. And then for this one, um, I recommend just playing Re Rebirth Island because uh, Rebirth Island, there's 45 players in one map and there's three people per team and that's automatically 15. So all you have to do is just survive like, you know, one team and you automatically get a top 15 placement. So I recommend just using, just doing Rebirth once you get to this one and you'll automatically get it and it'll be finished and... And that's just how easy that one is. And then when it comes to like people like Stitch, I know a lot of people are probably going to come to this video for Stitch because I know his um, challenges are probably the hardest. Um, and let me tell you right now, like full disclosure, that for some reason, like the fourth challenge for um, Glitch in multiplayer, the complete three most wanted contracts doesn't work. I've tried doing three. Um, for some reason, it just doesn't work. I did three in one game. I've tried doing one in one game and like try and then dying so that to see if that would work that way. Maybe it was like a, you know, do one per game kind of thing. And that didn't work. 
and I did it multiple times. It was not like, like I, I reset my game and tried doing it again and stuff like that. Like it just wasn't working. So I'm pretty sure it's on Treyarch's end. Like maybe it shows that it's active, but it's really not. So, so yeah, same thing with zombies. Like the zombie uh, challenge is survive 20 rounds in one game to get that yellow skin that, um, that uh, Stitch has. And for some reason, it just doesn't work. Uh, I survived 20 rounds in one game, and, like, my thing just shows 1 out of 20. It, like, it didn't even, like, give me the skin or anything. So I'm pretty sure the objective 4s right now for Stitch don't work, but for the other characters, it does. So you don't have to worry about that. But for Stitch, I'm pretty sure it's, like, broken or something. So hopefully Treyarch fixes that. Um, other than that, uh, if I were to be doing this challenge, the best way that I did it was, um, you know, just grabbing a car or a helicopter and driving around getting the contracts and just flying in the air with the helicopter for example or driving around and just not you know running into enemies or anything and i mean that's pretty much that's pretty easy to do um and then the hardest challenge i was talking about for stitch would probably be this one which is eliminate 10 enemies that are affected by your gas mine or gas grenade and i wouldn't do it in cold war because i know you could do it in cold war uh with the gas mine but the gas mine kind of really sucks in cold war so I'd probably just stick with Rebirth Island for this. Uh, that's how I did it the fastest. Because all you need to do is just either have gas grenades in your loadout or find gas grenades on the floor, which aren't, which isn't that hard to do. And um, the best way I did it was with a shotgun. And I would just throw the gas grenades uh, at people. And once I hear them choking or, you know, uh, having that effect of gas on them, uh, I would just, you know, kill them quickly. And every time that worked. Uh, you can't do it when they're downed. I've tried it when they're downed, like throwing gas grenade, gas uh, grenade on them when they're down. It doesn't work. So yeah, that's the best way. Uh, Rebirth Island, just because people are always just doing random stuff in that game mode, because there's so much like, you know, chaos and stuff. So that's probably the easiest uh, mode to do it in. Um, the gas mines aren't reason wise because like even if you do it in hardcore, for example. Um, what's it called it takes three hits just to kill someone with it and at, at the same time like the guy that's affected by it if he does get affected by it for the most part for some reason even if you kill them it does not work and i've tried it so i think it's like kind of glitch maybe but um I, I think it's really hard to do it in multiplayer especially since like also they can shoot your gas mines and it'll automatically disappear and then you have to wait like you know two minutes just to get it back which kind of sucks so that's why I think getting the gas grenade is your best bet. And then also, you know, with the gas grenade, you can buy ammo boxes from, like, Rebirth since you get money so fast and just keep on resupplying. And you get, like, two for resupplying. So um, that makes it even faster and quicker to do this challenge. Um, and then for, like, Adler, for example, I'd probably just do his challenges. You can, Like I said, you can check all the challenges here. See, like, for example, in Cold War, I wouldn't be able to see this challenge. Uh, and I wouldn't be able to see this one either. So I'd probably most likely do these challenges in in multiplayer just because those are multiplayer missions. Um, or easier, like in Nuketown, for example, get five point blank medals. I mean, you're always right in front of people, so that, that one's pretty easy. You could just use a shotgun. Um, get five spy planes, pretty easy. Um... Eliminate five enemies while they're blinded. I'd probably do that in multiplayer to Nuketown. So for these missions, I'd probably do it in multiplayer. Uh, I don't have this mission unlocked yet because I'm not Battle Pass Tier 90. But if you are Battle Pass Tier 90, get 25 eliminations. Assault Rifle is pretty easy. Eliminate 10 down enemies. Obviously, you, I would go to Rebirth Island just because of how much kills you get fast. Um, resupply 20 teammates with Assault Packs. I'd probably team up with people um and tell them to grab my munitions box and if you can't team up with people for some reason because you have no friends or whatever um or whatever you're not playing with people or it's late at night and you're just playing by yourself um i'd probably just play a multiplayer and have the assault pack because surprisingly enough if you place the salt packs people will pick it up especially on your team so so yeah i'd probably just do that and then for the last one earn five avenger medals i'd do this in uh, multiplayer of course because it's just easier like in nuketown for example it's probably the easiest so for adler's missions i probably stick to multiplayer cold war uh for the most part on other than you know these two missions but other than that yeah and then uh you can you can see these missions already too like i said uh the best place to come is a whole is modern warfare uh the best place to come is warzone my bad um because you can see all the missions ahead of time 
for some reason, uh, unlike Cold War, where you can only see one at a time until you complete the mission. So, like, for example, complete three recon contracts. Of course, you're going to do that in Warzone. Or actually do that in Rebirth Island, because you could do that in Rebirth also. Uh, I don't think it's easier to do it in Rebirth, so I'd probably do it in Warzone, just because in Rebirth, people are always dropping on you and stuff. So, if they see that yellow light in the sky when you do a recon contract, um, they're most likely going to go to it. So, I probably wouldn't do it there. I'd probably do it in Warzone, just because you have more of a chance of surviving it. Um... Call in five score streaks or kill streaks, do that in multiplayer. Uh, call in three loadout jobs, obviously, you, you would have to do that in Warzone. I would do it in Rebirth, though, because Rebirth, you get the most money fast. So, probably just do it there. And then, for these challenges, let's see what else. Okay, we have these challenges. Uh, destroy, get five kills with launchers. I would do this in Hardcore, it's the easiest. Uh... If usually if you hit them with the launcher, you'll kill them. But sometimes if they have flak on, it makes it kind of annoying. But for the most part, um, I mean, if you get a like a hit, a direct hit, no matter if they have flak, they'll die. Um, but if they don't have flak, that makes it even better for you. It, it just makes it easier uh, playing hardcore, hardcore Newtown especially with the launcher. Kill three enemies with your score streak or kill streaks. This is easy. Use a cru cru cruise missile or artillery. Because I'm pretty sure cruise missile and artillery are like the first streaks that you get that are like actual kill streaks. Because um, I mean, there's like what the RCXD, but I mean, you're gonna have to keep on getting it and letting it refresh, and then you have to get three of them. And I mean, it's pretty easy, yeah, especially if you're playing Newtown. But I would just go for an artillery and cruise missile because you'll get them both at the same time, most likely, and then you can just get three kills quickly. And then destroy five enemy vehicles. Um, I'd probably do this in fire team dirty bomb just because people are always driving vehicles in that and I haven't tr I don't know if it'll work, but I'm pretty sure if you like Shoot down, you know the helicopters that people pick that people get um in in fire team those count and that makes it easier because there's always helicopters in fire team so Yeah, I'd probably just do it in fire team and then the last one get 15 lethal equipment kills using the quartermaster or restock perks so just play new town and just Toss knees like crazy. Um, and then the last challenge, uh, I, like I said, you have to be tier 60 in order to get these challenges. So I'd probably, but once I get them, I'd probably play this one in multiplayer called in five spy planes. Uh, obviously play this one in Warzone and do the recon contracts. Uh, get 15 eliminations while using the tracker perk. Um, I'd do that in multiplayer, of course. And then five kills with the combat knife, Nuketown, 24-7. I'm going to do that. And and to keep in mind, whenever you do the Warzone um, challenges, whenever it is a Warzone challenge like this one, you have to be on the character in order to complete the challenge. If you're not on the character, it won't work. So just make sure you're always using that character whenever you're, gonna, you're, whenever you're about to do a Warzone contract. So you can't do like two contracts or two operators like you can when you're playing multiplayer uh, in Warzone for some reason. But... That's just how it is. And then the last operator, I'm pretty sure, is Stone, right? Yeah, Stone. Um, he has zombie challenges. Uh, I think one of his challenges is, like, get 25 kills with field upgrades. That one's easy. Just use Ring of Fire. Whenever it's, like, field upgrades or getting kills quickly or something in, war in uh, zombies, use Ring of Fire. You literally kill zombies, like, instantly. It makes the round go by faster, honestly. And it's a lot of fun to use. Um, so yeah, that's where the zombie challenge is. Same thing with the survive to 20 rounds. Once they fix that challenge, just use Ring of Fire so you can get through the rounds quick. Um, that's like the fastest way to get it. Uh, so for this challenge, get five kills with a combat knife. I did this in Nuketown. Uh, same thing with this, Nuketown. 20 eliminations with shotguns, easy in Nuketown. Uh, five kills with Tomahawk. The Tomahawk's really good in, in Cold War, so I would do it in Nuketown also. And just throw tomahawks at people from close range. It's really good. Um, like surprisingly good. Like if you use a tomahawk. Like you can actually go off. Like I, I think I had 20 kills with tomahawk once. And then uh, execute one finishing move. New you just play new towns. Sit in the corner if you want. People will pass by. Trust me. And just uh, assassinate them as quick as possible. And that's pretty much it for all the operators. Um, for Stitch. I'll be showing you how to do the gas one. Just to give you a general idea. Um, and I'll be showing that right now in a bit, but other than that, uh, if this video has helped you, 
and if you enjoyed it please subscribe leave a like comment help me you know grow this channel um everything's appreciated and yeah hopefully i helped you out and gave you some tips on how to complete all these operator challenges for season one and hopefully they make more uh challenges like these for other operators that they bring in the future so as you can see here i got my load Hold on, hold on, hold on. As you can see, I got my load already, and I have a gas grenade equipped. Right now, I'm getting shot at, but I'm gonna try to kill this guy and show you guys how to kill. So when they're down, you cannot use a gas grenade on them. You have to use it when they're up. So usually, I'll I'll push them with a shotgun. Oh, I down one right here. I'm gonna see if he revives them for me. But I'll push them with a shotgun usually. And uh, and throw a gas grenade. But um, it seems oh, look, right here. So I'll throw a gas grenade. Usually I'll use a shotgun, but that counts as a kill right there because I, I affected him. And then the other guy, I'm not sure if it will count, but usually it doesn't. But you see how the camp, the combat shotgun, like it kills them so fast. Like that's how I do it. So if you want to do the challenge of the um, if you want to do the challenge for uh the gas grenades or 10 eliminations just toss a gas grenade on them and then you know shoot them and that's it